The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God stands forever. Dear Heavenly Father, as I record this video, let my voice decrease and your voice increase. Let the people hear your words and not mine. Let you get all the glory from all of this. In your son Jesus' name I pray, amen. Welcome back to another video. Here on this channel, we read a chapter of the Bible a day. Uh... Without further ado, I'll just an introduction. We're in Genesis, Genesis chapter 34. And without further ado, I'll get to reading. <laughs> One day, Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, Jacob and Leah, went to visit some of the young women who lived in the area. But when the local prince, Prince Shechem, son of Hamor, the Hiv Hivite, saw Dinah, he seized her and raped her. But then he fell in love with her and he tried to win her affection with tender words. He said to his father, Hamor, get me to this young girl. I want to marry her. Soon Jacob heard that Shechem had defiled his daughter, Dinah. But since his sons were out in the field herding his livestock, he said none until they returned. Hamor, Shechem's father, came to discuss the matter with Jacob. Meanwhile, Jacob's son had come into the field as soon as they heard what happened. They were shocked and furious that their sister had been raped. Shechem had done a disgraceful thing against Jacob's family, something, something that should never be done. Ooh, it's getting, <laughs> getting crazy. It's getting, woo. Hamor tried to speak with Jacob and, and his sons. My son Shechem is truly in love with your daughter, he said. Please let her marry her. In fact, let's, let's arrange our marriages too. You give us your daughters for our sons, and we give you our daughters for your sons. And you may live among us. The land is open to you. Settle here and trade with us, and feel free to buy property in the area. Then Shechem himself spoke to Dinah's father and brothers. Please be kind to me and let me marry her, he begged. I will give you whatever you ask, no matter what dowry or gift you, you demand. I will gladly pay it. Just give me the girl as my wife. But she, since Shechem had defiled their sister Dinah, Jacob's son responded deceitfully to Shechem and his father, Hamor. They said to them, we couldn't possibly allow this because you're not circumcised. It would be a disgrace for our sisters to marry a man like you. But here's a solution. If every man among you will be circumcised like we are, then we will give you our daughter, daughters and we will take your daughters for ourselves. We will live among you and become one people. But if you don't agree to be circumcised, we will take her and be on our way. Hamor and his son Shechem agreed to the proposal. Shechem wasted no time in acting on the request, for he wanted Jacob's daughters desperately. Shechem was a highly respected member of his family, and he went to his father Hamor to present this proposal to the leaders at the town gate. These men are our friends, they said. Let's invite them to live here among us and trade freely. Look, this land is large enough to hold them. We, we can take their daughter as wives and let them marry ours. But they will consider staying here and become one people with us only if our men are circumcised just as they are. But if we do this, all their livestock and possession will eventually be ours. Come, let us agree to their terms and let them settle here among us. So all the men in the town council agree agree with Hamor and Shechem and every male in the town was circumcised. But three days later, when they were when their wounds were still sore, two of Jacob's sons, Simeon and Levi, who were Dinah's four brothers, took their swords and entered the town without opposition. Then they slaughtered every male there, including Hamor, Hamor and his son Shechem. They killed them with their swords then took Dinah from Shechem's house and returned to their camp. Meanwhile, the rest of Jacob's sons arrived, finding the, 
Finding the men slaughtered, they plundered the town because their sisters had been de defiled there. They seized all the flocks and herds and donkeys, everything they could lay their hands on, both inside the town and outside in the fields. They looted all the wealth and plundered their, their houses. They also took all the little children and wives and led them away as captives. Mm. Afterwards, Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You have ruined me. You made me stink among the people of this land, among the Canaanites and Perzites. And Perzites. We are so few that they will join forces and crush us. I will be ruined and my entire household will be wiped out. <laughs> but the, but why should we let them treat our sister like a prostitute? They were so, retorted angrily. Hey, verse thirty, uh, verse thirty, chapter thirty-four. Hey, I'm gonna read verse 30, 30 and thirty-one. Afterwards, Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, "You have ruined me. You have made me stink among all the people of this land." Among all the Canaanites and Perzites, we have so few, and they, and they will join forces and crush us. I will be ruined, and my entire household will, will be wiped out. But why should we let him treat our sisters like a prostitute? They retorted angrily. Hey, that's chapter 34, man. Please read for yourself. Whatever version you like, we're coming from uh, the NLT. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. Man, stay in God's word, man. <laughs> it's a great place to be. It's a great place to be. Stay blessed and encouraged.